Welcome on back everyone to Total War Warhammer 3 in part 9 of our legendary Yuan Bo Immortal Empires campaign. In today's episode, our boy Yuan Mao here is throwing it down against uh, the dreaded dread, uh, Dead Flag Fleet. I thought it was hopefully it was the Dread Flag Fleet, but no, no, not at all. We got a whole bunch of undead pirates coming on across the field here. Luckily, we do outrange even their uh, hand gunners there, so we have exactly four more range than they do. So we have a bit of a formation set up over here. Uh, where our archers are leading the way. We've got spears kind of set up on the sides, and then our swordsmen will move to the front of the lines once the archers have started to fire on the enemy's forces as well. As soon as those handgunners are in range, that is what our targets are going to be uh, primarily. Let's get the battle going. They are likely going to sit and hold up and wait for their reinforcements. That's fine by me. It allows me to get set up with my archers. Go ahead and post up with my martial prowess. here. So let us begin. That way they have to come around the tree, the uh, the houses here. Forced into certain choke points. Jesse Sharp Eye. We'll find out, won't we? Fortunately, since we are on Legend, we can't go over there and actually inspect what's going on, but we can we can take a look at the dastardly undead. Been polluting our shores. Slayed one of our uh, dragonborn. Yeah, we've got a ton of missiles. Unfortunately, so do they, so we'll have to have to watch very closely. The plan is as soon as the enemy lord other enemy lords in, we'll go ahead and summon our uh, ancestral warriors in on them and try to drop kick both of them at the same time since he has even though Yuan Mao's very tired. You have more overall stats with the 75, and then he will drop her stats by 8 and 10. Quite fantastic. Go ahead and speed things along here. In march the reinforcements. Jade warriors. And in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and move my Jade Warriors into position. That way they can quickly be the front line. Here they come. Uh, this group of spears, I'm actually going to move into position on the flanks here. We have taken up the side of the map. I'm going to move these archers back just a little bit. That way the spearmen can kind of take in the position instead. Like so. Still a little bit too far away for us to actually inspect, so we'll just have to watch as they march on over. And this are the dried up rice paddy fields over here, so they won't be slowed down at all. And they wouldn't anyway, since they're aquatic, I believe. Water is not going to slow down any of these undead. Which works even better for us. And I get even more into the uh, the corner here. Rotate a bit further. Use these houses as cover as much as possible here. We might have to move the troops around a little bit more, but something like this looks nice. I pull the crows out wide, that way they can kind of jump on any isolated units, and they have the flaming bombs there. Well, actually, they're not fire bombs. Hmm. Okay, so they're not going to get any extra benefit from our bandit archers over here. Bandits of the Silver Road, which we'll go ahead and take a look at. I don't know if we've actually peaked our, our bandit units yet. We've got these awesome little shields. They look great. Sorcery incoming! Beware! Sorcery incoming! How do you know they have a spellcaster from over there? Quite impressive eyesight there. They're moving over as slowly as possible. March the undead. Let's get our archers. Okay, so some of you guys are a little bit disrupted here. Come on back to the middle. Uh, these guys are a little funky standing. They're still trying to run, too. Yeah, less disorder from you as well, my friend. They've got their own bats. Let's see if there's anything over there defending them. I'd be curious to find out. How's their formation? They've got the hulks on this side, which are the uh, ogres that have actually washed up and been reanimated. Oh yeah, no, bats versus... Versus Chroman all day. Back, come on back, let's lure these bats on in. Because maybe it was a fake this whole time. 
I've got the archers to deal with you, my friend. We've got the secondary group of Felbats we can deal with. Once they come on in, unless they both both fly on into Doom. Which would work for me. It's open season. They're going to quickly try to change targets to one of the uh, units of archers, but it's far too late. Roman, let's go ahead and turn back around and get the uh, next group of bats on in. You poor fools. All right, archers, relax. You got them. We've also got the dire wolves of scurvy dogs coming out on the other side. They are the dire wolves of the moist variety. Probably all marnically, too. Life on deck isn't kind. Since they're way too close to the missile troops, let's go ahead and pull them on back now. I like that the leadership takes a hit. You're beings of elemental wind. You should be not scared of undead bats. Well, they actually are fast enough to catch you, so let's go ahead and turn and attack. Tired is not a good look for you guys. Go ahead and pull away. Let them take damage from those arrows. Hopefully their archers are keen enough to spot out the black wings with the gold. Being tired is no fun there. But their air superiority is now, or their air support is now, fully wiped out. Right, and they march very, very slowly. It's almost like they smell that doom approaches. They're breaking all of our fences, which is quite rude. It will be paid black and back in blood, don't you worry. Bandits in silver row. Let's go ahead and rotate a little bit there. They're very, very rectangular. Bring the dogs back. I'd love to pounce on the hand cannon mob before they even get close. Let's go ahead and speed things along a little bit. Are there any death mages over there? Looks like one of normal vampires and normal vampires. Perfect. Makes things much easier for us. Any day now, vampires. All right, so it looks like the animated hulks are on the other side here, so that actually is probably where we're going to summon in the Ancestral Warriors, just kind of deal with those hulks quickly. That's one of their only main uh, damage-dealing options, besides their bombers and uh, different missile units. Stone and steel. Look, we've got two spears over here, so we may not even need more. They're still moving in as slowly as they can, aren't they? Wind and fire. Rotate these two groups of archers so that they're all firing on the hulks. Praise the dragon. We can hope they're going to be firing on the hulks. Here come the scurvy dogs. I'm pretty sure our bats can... Er yes, these guys are bats. Our crowman can handle them. The Empress is staring at us with disdain as we speak. They do. Staying low. Whatever we'll be fine, is though. Required. Here we go. Slow march all the way over in here. Are we actually able to regain any kind of vigor at all while just standing still? No, we're way too tired. Fresh out of uh, sports drinks. Heals going down on the unit that already is at the healing cap. It's a perfect use of your spells. Love to see it. Soldier and leader! All right, I don't mind the first volleys going in on the uh, deckhand mob, but we'll try to switch them once the other guys get a little bit closer. All right, the volleys are out. Let's go ahead and send the infantry up. Getting fired on as well. We'll have to keep a bit of an eye. All right, handguns are almost in range. Go ahead and switch targeting to them. Missiles, go ahead and fire on gun mob. Lay into them, lads. We'll go ahead and drop in the extra defenses on this group who's getting shot up. Can't hit them both, which is unfortunate. You charge right on in. Spears, go ahead and deal with these Kirby dogs. I'm going to have Proman get back. You're going to get obliterated. Yep, just keep moving. 
Take a few losses there because I got them a little bit too close to the, the shotgun mob. You guys all fire on the hulks. Go tie those hulks up. Ooh, the missile troops they have are very dangerous. Let's go Celestial Sweep on the ward here. I have those bombers. Enemy Lord's almost dealt with. Let's go ahead and summon in the Spirits of the Ancestors. Honestly, we need to shut down some of these, uh, these shotguns. Let's go after you and then try to get Robbie the Creeper afterwards. Which is a great name. Alright, some of the spears are fleeing for their lives. We've got the Hulks starting to disintegrate. You two go after those gun mob. Ah, they let them get away, didn't they? Come on, bros, let's get moving. Start bombing this group. Let's go over the top of this gun mob, and then we'll swing in. Stone and steel. All right, land and destroy. Swordsmen, get in there. Ooh, we're taking some losses, aren't we? Move in, lads. We gotta stop those archers or their riflemen, which is much scarier than archers. The lords are getting absolutely flat by Papa. Mao here. We'll get the Jesse now. The Jesse. Move the Proman into the next group. The Spears, where can you guys stand? Got some issues. And they tear our archers up. Which is exactly what you'd expect. And it looks like though the white flag has been hoisted. It's absolutely obliterated by that hammer. Oh, don't get up. Just pretend you're down. Oh, it's not going to matter. He's going to finish her off. Get him. Oh, just kidding. That apparently is uh, too violent for, for recording. Close victory. All right. Close victory. 384 Cathayans fall in the fighting. A lot of that going to our archers. Uh, they were definitely going to be the main targets for the enemy handguns. I'm glad as many as we got, or as little many as we got out of there, survived. Uh, we will go ahead and venerate to the ancestors. Thank you for assisting us in the battle. You shall toil. Ally mobilizes again. We're gonna get this uh, little tab every single time now, are we? Until they actually deal with them. Legion of Asgore has fallen. That's either a very good sign or a very bad one. Either Imbrick's over there drop kicking it some uh, chaos dwarves, or Grimgore has ascended. Creepy Robbie has been destroyed as well as Jesse. I guess the other lord managed to escape somehow. Go trek the forearm now, love it. Oh there. Master Snickich was ambushing all along. Who would have guessed? I'm glad we didn't move on that army. Fool's errand. Ogres stalk the Ivory Road. Your soldiers swiftly dispatch them, but are startled to discover that one carries a live woman in a sack. A, uh, the wild-eyed alchemist reveals that she was captured while journeying to take samples from the Great Maw. Greatly amused, the ogres had made a pet of her. But now we've got a alchemist at Shang Wu. Thank goodness we rescued you. I'm sure that wouldn't have gone badly. Enhanced alchemists. Oh, so for recruiting one, we get now extra powerful for a moment. 16 turns, we get less. Uh, their actions are going to cost less, and they are going to have a higher chance of succeeding. Celestial Great gender. stuff. So now that we learned that the Deathmaster is sitting here ambushing, should we just go deal not, with him? Not now. Gutter runners are always terrifying. Letting this army sit here is an absolute mistake. He's got an Eshen Sorcerer. I don't believe have the capabilities of dealing with our... I will Roman. take that. The Gutter runners can, absolutely. My soldiers. Impossible. Alright, so 33-29. That is honestly not great. It's their missiles that are so scary. Yeah, it's almost fully armor piercing. They're they're throwing stars though, so they do have to have line of sight. General. As long as we can get in here, deal with the Deathmaster, and then retreat, I think we're in pretty good. Pretty good yes. straights here. Let's get it. Then we get ambushed. Oh, I'm kind of scared. I thought that was oh, man. I thought that was an ambush. All right, cool. Uh, so it's just Eshin Sorcerer and the Deathmaster. Which kind of spells are you rolling with, my friend? Warp Stars are always going to be deadly because of how cheap they are. Skitter Leap allows you to make creatures unspottable, which is lovely. 
seal of bombs, or fireball. That's awesome. And then blast. You've got all the bounce spells there, don't you, friend? All right. Operation Eliminate the Deathmaster is a go. Go ahead and add the war banner here to our lord. Make sure he is holding the line the entire fight. He will stand absolutely no chance against the Deathmaster, but if we can get him locked down in one spot and the shotgun's firing, we might have a good chance of dealing with them while he's holding the line. We will see. Onward to victory. And the plan is I'm going to use my Menace Below Summon on his uh, his artillery, the same as he would do to me. How much of the map is actually up here on these rice patties here? Really disable our own troops. It's like, buddy? Oh, horrible. Yeah, that, that would disable our own troops just as much as theirs. So let's go ahead and... No high ground for us to take, really, except for the rice paddy fields. Let's go Jade Warriors. We're going to try to go for a little bit more of a compact formation. Try to force the rats to do their thing and try to envelop us. Which will allow our crows to get really, really good flanks. Hell, but we can get some nice ambushes with our shotgun teams, which is going to be the plan. I'm going to get both Iron Hill guns in the woods here. May not work out at all, but we'll try. Our crossbow teams, I'm going to try to have a little bit more compact. We do outrange the enemy Skaven Slave Slings, and they don't have any armor piercing at all, so our, our crossbows should be completely safe. They have Night Runner Slings, but as soon as they're visible, we can focus fire them down. Archers in the frontal position, just in case. There we are, and then we'll have our Spear Lads going in on the sides. So, here. Like another unit kind of blocking up this part, and then we'll have you guys over here in between our Iron Hill guns. Other two Jade Warriors ready to stop both Menace Below summons and move in where they're needed on this side. Three, four, Froman. It's amazing. You guys will stay back on this side and probably just have them maul different groups of the, uh, the Wolf Rats, steer them off, and then we can then it moved to deal with any of the gutter runners that are left. Most dangerous units besides Stickage itself is going to be the Warp Grinders. We'll want to keep them in dry at all times. Big pop on gave us the crows, all of our archers, and all of our infantry. You come on back a little bit there. Try to lure the Deathmaster into the middle of our line best we can. All right, let it begin. I'm going to go ahead and pull you all back a little bit further. That way we can try to uh, do this ambush even better. All back a little bit. Out of each other's way if you can. Shotguns are still completely hidden, which is perfect. We're gonna watch for those menace below summons. In fact, we'll bring one of our crows over to help out in case. This line is not great. You guys back a bit. Have spears set up like this and like this. We've got our one unit of crows that come on back. To scare off any menace below summons. Which a lot of the times the AI will just summon them in with their main army, which is very, very useful for them. And I suggest you do it here. Or are you waiting for me to come to you? In March, the verminous creatures, skittering as they are. We can see most of the units, thankfully, or thanks to the Crowmen here. They've got all sorts of excellent spotting. Eyes of the Empress here, they've got visibility range plus 80%, which is lovely. Let's them see stuff, even if it's trying to hide. What's the plan? Let's see if we can't lure them into doing anything dumb. Crowman forward. I'm going to bring the other two across the way, but I'm going to have them just walk. That's allowed. Oh, crows fly at full speed all the time. I respect it. See if we can't lure out any of their warp stars or use any of that poison wind mortar. This 
summoning in our ancestors now would be a complete waste. They get wiped out by Night Runners and the like. There's the Warp Stars. Go on back through the woods a little bit. In fact, land, so it's harder for them to actually hit you. There it is. Maybe we can even lure the uh, Wolf Rats over. Really, you can win on a 1v1 against some crows. Wolves, after all. Or a horrifying hybrid. Thank you, Mulder. You guys, back up in the air. Let's see if we get some more warp stars our way. I'd like to overwhelm these wolf rats with two of the units real quick. Hear them off. They don't have the best leadership, but they are very fast and pretty good on the melee. I try it again. These are excellent dodging skills. Just in range to see what it happens if I give the attack order. Nothing? Nothing at all, huh? Gotta lure the AI in. Come on now. Bring these crows over. There are some Steven Slave Slings, which are not super scary. Then we just move in and see how much damage we can get. Here comes some warp stars. Go ahead and land. Oh, it hit them anyway. How unlucky. Such is the way. All right, here, here goes the part of Poison Wind Mortars firing away. In fact, we could probably get them to get some uh, lovely friendly fire damage on their own units. I am going to charge these wolf rats here. What are you going to do about it? Our crows can get up in the air pretty quickly. They're going to fire on their own wolf rats. Perfect. Get up in the air. That was an excellent charge. Actually fared even better on the charges than I expected. Ah, now they're going to get run down, though. I see. So now that they're there, they're committed. <laughs> and they're dead. Fair enough. Well done, AI. Fully scared them off then before you leave. So well done with exploding your own uh, gutter runners. Alright, they just got scared off, but I think we had a trade. Fortunately there. We to learn the hard way. On back towards friendly lines. One of those wolf rats should run all the way off the side, but I would say trading crows for wolf rats is not not at all worth. Oh, Groovy, this Groovy's getting like, knocked out too. Come on, then. For some reason, I can't get the camera over here to them. There we go. That was very spooky. Oh, rest in peace, those crowmen. What do you got for me, enemy? They have enough damage to try to lure them in. Wolf rats aren't going to be coming back anytime soon. And our, the same thing with our Chroman. That was a, almost an equal trade there on each side. Pulling the camera away slowly. All right, Eshin. So be it. As soon as these shotguns come out of the woods, they are going to pounce. That's what we're going to do grab everyone except for these spears and just drag them up this way a bit. That way we can still possibly get our ambush. Like so. We need to kind of close the gap, make them come over to us, because apparently they're not going to they're not here for it. Actually, let's take these two surviving wolf rat, or Perlman, I bet we could scare off this wolf rat team. Summon in the ancestral warriors behind the poison wind mortars, kind of at the same time. Once the poison wind and the wolf rats are gone, we've got not a lot that can deal with us. Quite in range. I'll let the healthier unit hit them first. We should be able to scare them off quite quickly. It looks like a few of the units were fizzling away there. You see the, the elemental winds? That's not great. See the night runners behind there, but we should be able to at least tie them up enough. Alright, summon them in. Here. 
pros, go for it. Make sure I'm using the Ancestral Warriors. Even if you use your Earthquake attack, that should do more damage to your own units than ours. Pros can deal with uh, the units of Wolf Rats, everyone else can. You need to kind of chill out. We're not giving the freed order until those wolf rats are fleeing. Now we give the real order. Shouldn't take as much damage. In return. Never conquer. Keep cutting them down, Ancestor Warriors. And now we move everyone else in. You guys go after those gutter runners. Okay, warp stars are pretty dangerous. Everyone on back over quickly here. Wolf rats are just gonna keep running away. Boys of wind are alive, but that doesn't mean we can't change that quite quickly. Got a couple of the mortar shots actually. That mortar team's actually left there, which is not ideal. There's the Eshin Sorcerer. Keep maneuvering here with our crows. Fortunately, our shotgun ambush is after gonna, going to have to be revealed. Let's bring the lads on in. They're incredibly disorganized now. Get everyone in. Warp Grinders are still a pretty huge issue. They've got an Earthquake-style attack that does a lot of damage. Waste the ammo they have left there. You guys come back in. Let's bring this unit forward. Just continue to harass the AI's decision-making. Okay, a little bit so we don't get... Oh, they got clipped. What excellent, excellent predictions there out of the, uh, the Mortar Teams. They're just barely not in range. Get up. Off to the side there. Alright. Move them around. Shotgunners. Ooh, make sure we get all of them. Forward into the... I'm back a bit. Beautiful, here they come. They got hit because I wasn't paying close enough attention. Like they're keeping most of their, their important units here back here. Oh, those are just the Skaven Slaves. Dodge the Poison Wind. Maul the Poison Wind. We'll have you keep back a little ways. Let's drop off the extra melee defense. Move in. These crows are getting annihilated because we've kept them on their own, which is lovely. Now they're gonna get annihilated either way. Let's charge these gutter runners. Unfortunately, we'll have to re-train up some more spearmen. Some more crowmen, that is. Go up in the air. Is this the Eshin Sorcerer? But wipe him out next. Deathmaster is a glass cannon, isn't he? Shotguns get to work. Hold on, crows. Regaining a bit of your uh, your valor there. All right, I'm bringing the warp grinders back up to you, so let's go ahead and ignore that. Keep clobbering the deathmaster. Bring these spears. Like they're they're fighting the triads. You move in to uh, lock down gutter runners. You turn fire on the triads. Shotguns dealt with the uh, the night runners there. Bring you boys next. One in after this group. Same thing here. Go after these given slave slings. Easy targets. Never Beautiful. Celestial General. He's been winning in a fight with uh, the Deathmaster. Granted, he's got his whole squad with him. Got 
plenty of Jade Warriors chasing him here, so he's got nowhere really to run. Teleports all through our lines. You just hold still for a moment, that hammer will bonk you permanently. One more Poison Wind Mortar up in the air. Get one unit of Chroma after them. You go after that uh, Eshin Sorcerer. Beautiful. And Eshin Clan Stun, go ahead and pull off of that. It's just going to yield damage free. And there goes the Deathmaster once more. I'm going to go ahead and run down as many of these Raz as we can with our Crows. Hopefully we don't have any leadership issues, and I'll get you in a moment. Alright, one of our first steps in stamping out Clan Eshin. Uh, no more Poison Wind Mortars, no more Gutter Runners. He has one unit left, so we'll have to try to run them down. We will see. Definitely will be venerating to the answers there, especially since we, since we did lose one of our units of Onyx Chroman. You are Need to replenish up a little bit. Death Master by nature. Now we've defeated Deathmaster Snigich with him as well, gaining 4% less hero action success chance in the local region and stock for himself. Sneaky. All of our Celestial, Celestial Generals shall General. be very sneaky. Oh, now they've retreated back into their own territory a long ways there. Foolish, stupid. No, it's just Gracie. armies of Skaven Never. slaves. But in enough numbers, that is it's absolutely enough to deal with us. A great day, but let us avoid hubris. I agree. Yeah, we're gonna have to fall back. Let's fall back in a way that we can set up another ambush and likely get caught ourselves. This victory is not mine, but all cafes. Also be a good idea to get another unit of Chroman in the army. Use almost all of our movement to get down here to deal with the, the Deathmaster, which is unfortunate. And we'll pull so back to Mingju. And give ourselves a unit of Chroman to replace those that we lost. The Jade Lion would be awesome as well, but two turns doing nothing is not something I'm really keen on. Servant of the Dragons. Right, my friend. Already got sure aim. We may just want to go for the good old unyielding for our peasant spears and jade warriors. Bumps up melee attack and defense by a total of six each. Or we can just make you more defensive. That's what I'm going to do, do start here. Celestial General. On over to Mao. We'll start working on your units further. So what are you really utilizing? Kind of the same thing. We'll make you the one with the unyielding front line. Leader of men. And then I'm thinking we'll have the other Celestial General we got from. Uh, Wei Jin, we'll have him be maybe the Eastern Fires or Stone Gaze as his uh, focus. So we've already got the couple of uh, grain guns in the army, or Iron Hill guns. With that, I would need more effectively. Indeed. Now it's time to the move and push them out of the Bridge of Heaven. We can annihilate the army inside. Beautiful. Yes. Or it is nigh, Zheng. Click the auto resolve button here, finish them on off, and we will take uh, this time the extra experience. You cannot risk your existence. No. Not even a little bit. Dark Dragon magics are a poison. They never actually made it on down to Shi Long. We are in at least a pretty good situation to rebuild the Celestial Riverlands here. That, that incursion could have been much, much worse. Alchemist of Our brand new Alchemist will have you join up with uh, Yuan Ye. An appealing experiment. Appealing experiment. Then from here, we'll have the two of you move up as much as possible to help out with the Bridge of Heaven. Naturally. Then I'm thinking we'll have Yuan Mal take out to the rivers. Come on up the river here to attack Chi Mai. I believe that's closer than just going across land. We always find out by using the old GPS map marker. Alright, I have recruited Gotrek in here at Wei Jin. He has decided to come on up and defend against the Dark Elves, and I don't think there's anyone better. So I'm not going to do any recruiting on Gotrek himself. His job is to hold the line here at Wei Jin at all costs. 
No! Blame you, you! Blame you, you. For your own ineptitude. Get ourselves the iron mines here, and we'll have our uh, astromancers move on out. Of Grand Cathay. Navigator, set course. Navigating. Astromancer. Bring you up with Xiao Kang. I'm betting, if anything, we are going to have to deal with Lord armies Magistrate coming through Vortex and Waddle, so we'll bring Xiao Kang, still in March Dance, up and around towards Maku Peaks. Oh, and you can go through the... When may I return to my texts? In a few months, my friend. Raise go to there, so we're not taking any attrition, but we'll keep him in March. Mazda Mundi is back with forces recruited from Skeggy. Let's draw the big code in for another defeat. As soon as you arrive, we'll go ahead and swap over into Ambush Dance. Surprise diminishes losses. Does indeed. Any way to get better surprise chances, though? It's, ooh, right here in this pagoda. Perfect. We've got two in the steel tokens now. Is that what allows us to instantly... No, that's the levy that provinces. Fair enough. Very good action. Go ahead and upgrade Young Sanctuary here in the Floating Pyramid. Help out our troll. She long could be upgraded. I think I'm going to ignore that, though. Here at Swamp Down, we'll take it up to Tier 2. So we can start actually exploiting I these pottery... be a pottery farm. It'd be a, a clay mine. Clay quarry. Maybe we do want to upgrade She long. Returns for the Tier 4 city, though. Let's wait. Build up a little bit of our gold. And since this is nothing but Skaven Slaves, I am going to go ahead and get front. you out. These Peasant Spearmen, I'm also going to go ahead and advance since they're going to replenish up next turn. And then let's jump into Global. Jet Lions are good at stopping spellcasters, right? They've got the... Disrupted ability, which now silences enemies. It used to increase the miscast chance. Now it apparently fully silences them, which is awesome. Yeah, let's get a Jade and Jet Lion. One of each. Don't mind sitting for a few turns. Is it time? Uh, go Trek, since we're not recruiting anything at, here at the Imperial Road. Oh, we're, we're out of gold now. We shall do nothing then. One more turn before our cash flow from Erengrad, which is awesome. Go ahead and take a look at goal. diplomacy. Yes. Yes. Go ahead and sign some trees up here with Auslan. Sigma's will come in peace. I will siphon all of the gold from the Empire that we can. Very well, we have an agreement. I don't want a defensive alliance with you though, because that's going to draw us into extra wars. Great lead. Who calls? Red, the Military alliance with. Yao Ying, though, sounds fantastic. Stop. The forces of Nangao cannot all abandon their posts, but will assist you where possible. Thank you dearly. For the Emperor's honor. For the Emperor's honor. Wind and Burning Wind also wants a military alliance? The blood and do. Of the Celestial Emperor gives Harmony is attained. Harmony is attained. I'm not going to listen to you, though. Not so. as interesting as uh, Miao Ying you are. Miao Ying. We're closing in on the good old confederation with Miao Ying. Which is perfect. One down out of our caravan age here, and we'll see what's happening here in the mountains of Kunlan. Outpost upgrade available. I'm going to ignore that. I, I love my gold. Goodness. Be still. The Dragon Emperor's eye is upon you. You do not want to embarrass yourself. That's right, you big chunky toad. We have a gift for you. They condemn the ruler's prejudice towards Hexawaddle. I feel like she has prejudice towards everyone. Uh, we have a gift for you. 3,000 gold for a peace treaty. We have pushed them out of the Sea of Service. They will never remember this, even if we sign peace, though. I mean, they will always remember this, even if we sign peace. They'll combining never forget and always remember. And they will attack us soon, so no peace. Go 
Northern Provinces are doing their thing. I think they drop kicked that army out of existence. Well done, Jiyong. Now we've got ourselves a Griffin Legion Lance. A gift from the Griffin Legion, paying for selling their might around the world. 20 extra charge bonus uh, for the Lord, and then 15% more charge bonus for all cavalry units in his army. Quite fantastic. Especially on one of our... I think Teddy has all of the cavalry already. So name him Daisy. General! Alright, Miao Ying, are we ready to move on in? Not yet, because we have to hang on now. We could always levy the provinces. Something the rats aren't ever expecting. Now... Soldiers of Cathay, march. General of the Celestial Host. Yeah, we'll move in and take down Mormel here. Him and all of his Skaven slaves. Celestial General. There's definitely a Deathmaster here somewhere, but... Bring your ambush on. Good grief. Oh, the garrison's coming out too. That is so many Skaven slaves. How many Menace Below uses? Six. This will be the fight of the century, won't it? I'm thinking we can easily handle it. Especially if we, if we charge Mormel directly with uh, with you and the two lions. I think this is no problem. Let's have ourselves one final large battle here for this episode. Onward to extermination. This map looks awesome. I don't think I've ever fought here. We've got the lovely uh, the shrine in the middle. I think we're absolutely going to set up over here and try to force them around. This choke point should be lovely. Let's grab. Why is everyone pressed against the back wall? Absolute cowards. Never conquered. Bring the Jade Warriors in. I want them to be lured down into the, the muck Raise here the with defenders. our lads. Not going to be a fun job for you, but your job. Spread our uh, units out just a little bit. Jade Warriors. Stone and steel. Bring the other Jade Warriors the in. Faithful. We want them to try to surround our units. That is the Stone main goal. Steel. There are so many of them, we have plenty of targets. Peasant spearmen. The environment is what the Cathayans are all about. Alright, and then on this angle here, I'm going to throw in the shotgunners. Stop anyone from going for any juicy flanks. But because I want the Iron Hell guns to not get destroyed, I'm going to keep them in the back and act like we're not using them. Yeah, so clever. Never Crossbows in the center. Thoughts in harmony. A little ways behind here. Warrior crossbows. A unit of peasant archers up front. And fire. On both sides. Archers. Not as compact as I would like. But it'll work once we move. We're going to move up a little bit along this side to try to lock them off from getting through the trees here, which looks to be already an impassable area. Jade and Jet Lion together. As they can trigger one another's harmony. We'll come on in and take a look at our brand new Jet Lion. New unit for the campaign. Very, very similar looking to the Jade Lion, but a bit less flashy. More of a creepy presence in the, in the back of the room. One that despises wizards. Right, we've got our three Chromen, which we are going to be using to annihilate different Menace Below summons. And any unfortunate Skaven slaves that get away from the group. All right, so we'll have you join up with the Jade and Jet Lion infantry, archers and all their missiles, and then, ah, uh, flyers. Let it begin. Move everyone up here to about this position. They decide to flank us, so be it. We got what we need to deal with it. So let us begin. So let us begin. Oh, they're gonna go. They're gonna go very wide with that group. Fair enough. So we'll kind of rotate a bit as well here. 
they've got the two other armies coming in from over here, so we're gonna have all of the uh, horses swamping from that side. Alright, engage that lion. No cause of problems. I'm surprised they're just gonna move to the back of the map here. It is below summon. I uh, wasn't close enough, it's gonna probably do some pretty decent damage. All back. Give them some extra tankiness because the enemy army is staying so far back. Alright, shotgun, go ahead and pull back here. And we'll have this unit of crows get ready to defend. Sweep wide. How long do we have? 33 seconds? Let's start doing some damage then. Purging around through these units of Skaven slaves are going to be important. They just smash their way right through, no problem. You want to clump up? We got you, no problem. Back line here, here comes reinforcements. What are we in another? Oh, they didn't. This one didn't say there was a menace below summon. Oh, good grief. Oh, that's free units uh, being slain for no reason. Love to see it. Right, shotguns, let's get you guys out. Actually, do some damage here in a moment. Lions, come on back through. Roman come up and deal with this group of Skaven Slave Slings at the front line here. Keep chopping them to bits. Roman, there they are. Give them the business. This more group of Iron Nail Guns is the Iron magnet for the enemy. Get Lion, come on back. Get Lion, you do the same. Get Lion, let's go ahead and drop the missile mirror on this goon so he uh, launches his own shurikens back at himself. Blow summon it's dealt with. Got guns, you guys are ready to do some damage. Get moving on in. Thing. Okay, next group off, come on back over. Ooh, they're a little bit disrupted there. They got quite a loud car coming by, so I'm gonna go ahead and mute for a moment and we will continue this battle. send the Jaden Jetline after the assassin there with some of our crows as well. I'm just going to have them go through. For as long as the crows are moving, we are doing good. Iron Hail, Iron Iron Hail you guys get. We're just going to use them as the, the bait, I guess, the entire battle. We'll bring these spears in to hold them if they middle line. Where's our lord at? Alright, lad, come on in. Let's clobber the enemy Mutin. Get you guys up in the air. Crows around to help out with Mormal. Well done holding the lines, lad. Here comes the next wave of feminist stuff. Uh, no, don't, don't, don't drop down. That'd be foolish. You guys just go ahead and turn. We'll bring these shotguns forward. Pick up on top of this hill here. They should be able to fire over our lines. Come on in and deal with this group of Skaven slaves. Spears move out as well. Jaden Jetline, you're getting a little bit bullied by the enemy lords. Let's go ahead and retreat on away just a smidge. Have these crows get away as well. Just a huge blob of enemies over here. Let's go ahead and uh, pull away for a moment. Let them think they are reorganizing. 30 more seconds before more physical resistance. There's an insane number of rats there. Shotguns are getting a little bit 
disrupted. There they go. These guys have gotten a little bit surrounded. Let's bring the lions in to scare them off. Got some Skaven Slaves going after our crows. Pretty brave. Those clan rats are the ones summoned. No reason to drop down. They keep doing that. Look at all the numbers here. Let's go ahead and get extra resistances. Shotguns have scared them off very nicely. Let's go ahead and bring it. Bring them up to completely deal with this flank here. As those clan rats fizzle away to nothing. I'm gonna bring these uh, spears actually round to keep anything from going round. Shotguns up. Crows, go ahead and scare this group of slings off. You're confident momentarily. Fall back a bit. My friend, we'll have you. Charge into the group. He's probing out of the middle of that nonsense. Jane Jetline aren't doing anything. Hunt down Mormal. Even aren't doing anything. Our shotguns are up to nothing. Come on, lads, get in here and help. A lovely jade fire through all of these warriors. Beautiful. Not have anything dangerous in terms of missiles. Let's just go ahead and have Mormal's missiles come right back at him. Units of archer or crows go after the back line there. Move and kill these great weapon chaos warriors, my friends. Are they scared to fire into the backs of friendlies? Get them around just a little bit more. These guys aren't. They're blasting into the, the forest there. Well, well done. Jaded Jet Lions getting here together. Mormal is silent, so none of his abilities are going to work. Which is just hilarious. Roman all work together here. I'm thinking we're going to get the summon in, get the white flag immediately. Very soon. You are in fact doomed. Yes. We're speaking of doomed. Go ahead and turn around there. I'm gonna have you come on back in and try to slaughter a Mutin. You guys can not fight. Come on away if you can. Get chopped in bits, unfortunately. Pros, come on back over here. Agent Lion, looks like you have gotten a little ways off of your intended target, so let's go ahead and try to pull back towards our line. I can slobber into these Chaos Warriors here. You go deal with poor Mutin, the Shaken. Bonk. Burn the shotguns round. Let's see if we can't use them on Mormal the Confident. Our ammunition is nearly expended on several of our units here. Okay, Warriors, you guys hold the line. We'll send the lions through to find another. Blank is about to flee. Warriors are going to bring their terror on in. Roman aren't doing much of anything but getting shot at by Skaven Slaves there, so let's bring him across. He's running for the hills. Let's bring the shotguns back. Those two groups are running. Let's bring them in and break uh, the experimenter there. As they get into range, the shotguns start tearing into the forest. Another Lord fleeing. Do they have any others? You guys get over here and deal with this group. Come in and help out. Our shotguns keep getting charged from both sides here. Let's bring them back through. Thankfully, it is just Skaven Slaves. So they're pretty easy to run off. There's the ammo. We are completely out. Just funneling in one group at a time here.
Come on, cats, deal with your true, one true hated enemy. The mice. Right, you deal with this lord. Keep scaring off all these clowns that keep coming on in. Spearmen move on in. There's the uh, unfortunate issue of the Chaos Warriors with great weapons moving into our lines there. Shotguns, how many of you guys are left? Honestly, plenty. Let's get blasted into these Cape and Slave Slings. Go ahead and have them retreat just for a moment. We'll have the lions. At least this lion smash in. That's another fleeing lord. Those leadership hits is quite hard enough here. Guys, a little bit more resistances. Smash into the back of this line. Alright, Lion, come over here and deal with the Skaven Slave. We'll get them with the uh, army losses here. We'll go after the super isolated units. Eight warriors come on in and charge these wolf rats. We're gonna have to have our, our archers started getting into the scrum now. Means lots more losses for us. And that group's fleeing. No reason to keep fighting. A unit's already running for the hills. Scare off this lord completely. Once they're broken, that's gonna give us all the points. Night runners, that's why they're so tough. You disrupt these clan rats just for a moment. Down the yes, down the retreat. Celestial General! Alright. Keep moving in on our shotgun, guys. Bring them back. Enemy Lord is using its weeping blade. If we can't draw more of them through. Right, that's another acting captain defeated. Let's move on in. We're definitely about to lose our... They're focusing down our iron hell guns now. Celestial General! You guys are all the way off the map. Come on back. Ash into this flank here. These shotgunners are getting completely focus fired. Hold them down. Smash into the flank here. Should scare them off. 30 more seconds before any kind of extra goodies there. Bring shotguns in to deal with these clan rats. And they're broken. Ash into the back line. Keep them disrupted. The number's not a zero. The Emperor X. So many, so many rats. More resistance and defenses. That group's gone. Bring them in. Shotguns, be careful. Ooh, that was a lot of damage. Well done, Night Runners. Let's get rid of them quickly. We have a lot of damage. Our, our Lord's in a bit of danger now. Give him some help. Your charge scares them off. Beautiful. He's probably exhausted, yeah. Burn and unleash a volley. Come on back in is one big terrifying blob. Shotgun should be enough to scare them off. I hope. Fall back a bit. And that's the victory. Good grief, that was a brutal fight. Well done, Warriors of Cathay. We have so many rats to try to round up to try to make this an easier fight for us in the next couple battles. We showed them all up. Almost 9,000 Skaven took to the field, and almost none of them remain. Of course, it does say 4,000 remain. We're not going to look at that at all. They all died, all of them. Slaughtered to a man. That was an insane battle. We're absolutely going to be venerating to the 420. All right, then. Nice. Keep your lives and serve. Lan has indeed been revealed. He's gained a sword master of more than a... Uh, more than a skill, sword mastery is an art. 
It must be practiced to perfection if the foe is to be rendered. What a battle with the Jade Warrior unit. Celestial General. At the very least, that is what we did. Now we are actually trapped inside of enemy territory, and we kind of only have one way forward. No, need my warp token stash. How did you guys all get full health again? Well, we've just been played. I don't believe there's any way we can make it back to Mingshu. This victory is not mine, but all Cathay. That's that's not good. We can make it back to friendly territory, but if we're in March, it is a very high chance that the Skaven are able to ambush us. <laughs> Think me, fool, fool. That's Celestial so unfortunate. General. We could make it back into friendly territory, but there's a very good chance we get ambushed once there. It would just be Skaven slaves. We can likely hold them off. A great day, but let us avoid hubris. Let's go, leader of men. Absolutely, probably should have saved the hard to hit that way we could have grabbed. I'm thinking for him, probably Bulwark of Wei Jin. Because we have all of the archers here with this squad. Archers and shotguns make him a very good uh, anchor in the middle of the line. We can even shoot our own units in. It'll mostly uh, block off. You would turn down such weaponry. Yeah, even if we go full aggression. No! Blame you, you! There's just going to be too many rats. And we are a little bit low on front, uh, front line forces. So maybe we try... Gotta try to escape. The Come around this way. Through Mingju. And so shall the war. Even though ambush is dangerous, we've got no real choice. We're gonna have another gigantic battle here up, up ahead no. of us. No. Oh, well, that's not great. Attention! Hero war units we can get access to. Doesn't look like it. Awesome. Let's swing back over to Yuan Bo. Where Mazda Bundy is hiding inside of Skeggy, he didn't decide to come out and fight. Fair enough. Well, Zhao Kang, can you surround Maku Peak? No. Let's camp our way on in then. You try to send us a tech. Well, you failed. You try to steal some tech. We'll see, won't we? Gold mine here. Alas, well, you also it failed. Not to be. It's not to be. Well, after two of you have uh, failed me for the last time, I guess it definitely wouldn't. A village here. All of our upgrades, and then we'll... Well done, Marcus. He is dealing with these Dark Elves in short order. Oh, it looks like... Karth is being knocked out by Bretonia. What on earth is happening? I've never seen the Order Factions do this while here. Bretonia is usually pushed back to one. A settlement very, very quickly. Over to the Riverlands, where it looks like Anna the Drowner is trying to build up troops quickly. Let's surround and destroy real quick. To the front around, bring out other forces, then destroy. Dragon blooded Shugunga. Win or die fighting. And we'll just have Mal then drop kick Anna into the river. War is upon us. War is upon us. Oh, I just occupy the bridge and have it back. Better be careful you're growling out there, my zombie friend. What about the pirate hunter? And the riverlands are back under our control. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. The dead flag fleet. First among warriors. Awesome. So you won. From yeah, we'll have you kind of turn back around and defend either Shilong or similar city, but I want you to get try to build up some more troops. The military is in. I expect loyalty, in alignment. And kind harmony. of meh. Grab some long spears. General. Building harmony. As for you, now we'll give you unyielding three there. And that is going to be about it for this turn. And in the episode, thank you all so much for stopping by today's Ewan Bow video. If you enjoyed the episode, remember to leave a like for the like god and a sub for the sub thumb. I'll see you all in the next one.